Polite power, mastering requests with would. Hello there, English learners. Today, we're delving into an essential area of polite conversation in English. Making requests using the word would. This versatile word helps to soften your tone and makes you sound more considerate and respectful. Let's unpack its magic, shall we? When we make a request, it's essential to sound polite, especially when speaking to people we don't know very well, or in a formal situation. The modal verb, would, is a powerhouse in such cases. We use, would, to make our requests sound more polite and less direct. Here's a basic structure for you. Would you plus verb? This structure implies that the action you are requesting is optional, giving the listener a comfortable way to decline if they wish. To get a better understanding, let's look at some practical examples of using would for polite requests. Would you pass me the salt, please? Here, the speaker is asking someone to pass the salt in a polite manner. Would you mind closing the window? This is a polite way to ask someone to close a window. Would you be so kind as to turn down the music? This sentence is a bit more formal, but it's a great way to make a polite request. Notice how these requests sound softer and more respectful than their more direct counterparts, like, pass me the salt, or close the window. Understanding how to respond to these requests is just as important as knowing how to make them. In English, the usual responses to would requests are yes, of course, I'd be happy to, certainly, or if you have to decline, I'm sorry, but I can't, I'm afraid I can't. And there you have it. You're now equipped to make polite requests using would and respond to them appropriately. Remember, practice is key, so don't forget to use these in your day-to-day -day conversations. We hope you found this video helpful, and we look forward to helping you continue your English learning journey in our next lesson. Happy learning!